Hey, what's up, Mr. Skeleton Stick? I thought that before the life of the Cathalon was finally over, <laughs> now I'm a little bit late today, I realize it. I realize it, but I thought I would at least go through the life of the Cathalon on level four, let you see what you needed to do to win this thing. And to be honest, it's not just the life of the Cathalon, it's kind of more a broader strategy for the, all of the Cathalons combined. But I want to just see, to get an idea for those of you who are having trouble, what to do with this thing to actually beat it. All right, here we go. First things first, and we're going to go into deck setup. As you know, with all the decathlons, it doesn't count any of your gear. It doesn't count any of your past experience. It will, however, count your pet talents and the, the deck that you use. I personally, this is a very important point here, I personally have found that if you actually go over here as you go along and get the runes and you craft the deck for the verses of the particular uh, for, uh, the verses of the particular decathlon in other words this one's a life decathlon so get the death deck that you will have a much easier time let me go ahead to the deck that i have on right now i have the life decathlon decks three but the higher up you can go the better it is i noticed that it gets incrementally easier probably 25 percent at least easier each time you go up one of these deck levels one two three four it seems like Deck 1 gives you about 25% help, Deck 2 gives you about 50% help, etc, etc. And you notice a real difference between Deck 2 and Deck 3 in getting this done. Deck 3 has this for space for treasure cards. And this is, by the way, at the same time, the cards that I use for the life of the the Decathlete, the Decathlon. I've got 7 life shields in here, I've got 3, three death blades, 3 feints, five ghouls and five uh, vampires. That's plenty enough to beat everybody in this thing. Plenty enough. You'll see as far as stats go. Let me see if I can do it or not. You know, well, actually, show it to me. Let's see. There you go. You'll see as far as stats go. It gives you a little bit more of a sideboard each time. Let me see if I have a, one of the other... Oops. If I have one of the other, there you go. I have deck one on there. There's deck one versus deck three. You see how much more, how much extra it gives you. It starts giving you a little light, more life. It starts giving you more attack. It starts giving you more resist. And you get up there to where you get that, those extra pips. Very important being as, well, you're really reducing gear here and you need all the pips that you can get. You really do. All right, so if you can, as soon as you can, get those death runes to craft this deck and start crafting up. Let me go here real quick. Now, as you can see for the deck, the first one's just runes, no problem. The second one requires you to have the first deck and more runes. The third one requires you to have the first two decks and more runes. The fourth one requires you to have two and three more runes plus these enhanced runes. You don't really have to worry about materials. You really, really will get all the runes and enhanced runes as you go along. But you'll have to craft a couple of these decks a couple of times to get what you need. Let's go ahead and get into the fight here. And you will see what I mean. Say it's forward, ready to go. You'll see what I mean with this. Definitely these, this decathlete death will help you, help you. I didn't mention about my pet, but the pet that I have on this lady's shadow is a Quint Heels pet. And while it really is up to you, I really prefer this pet for this because I have seen rounds where I was, bam, I get hurt, she heals. Bam, I get hurt, she heals. Just like every single time. It doesn't work, you know, I mean, every each round or each time. But a lot of the time, she'll just go ahead and heal me anytime I get hit at all. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this first time. Because I've got a shield and I've got time to do this. No problem. He'll hit me, but it won't be very hard because i got the shield ready to go. And that will burn up his pips. It's no big thing. Even with the traps he put on, puts on, that big old single shield is, is a big deal. Right, go ahead here. Another one of the good things about this decathlon is I'm using my death character on this. And the death spell cards naturally have a little bit higher success chance of casting than, say, if you're using a storm. Hit him pretty hard. It's not, the, it's not the end of the day for him because this is tier four, but still hit him pretty hard. And he'll go ahead and stack up with me. 
and he's got 204 left, and I know that my ghoul with what I currently have will hit for 207, so I'll pass one more time. If he hits me hard here, I'll wait for a vampire. If he doesn't, then I'll go ahead and hit with the ghoul. Okay, she didn't hit me this time either, but that's, that's okay though. He's got 198 on it, and I'll hit him hard enough that I'll get my 100 points back. Now, ordinarily, if I was really worried about the life, I'm not really too worried about it here. But ordinarily, I'd go and wait for a vampire again. And heal back up. There we go. See, there's my win. It's not quite full, but there's those life and death runes that you need. Four special event points for that one. Let's go ahead to the next fight. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm kind of rushing this, but I'm running, running really low on memory on my computer. <laughs> and I need to rush it. Go ahead and get these guys. This one, honestly, I think is the one of the harder fights of, of, the, of the thing. Anytime you have two opponents, it's a little bit rougher. Now, you can go ahead and use, like, your regular... Uh, decks out there. Some of them even have power pippage and stuff like that, but but it won't give you the other stats that you really need for this. I, I don't think it's quite as good. You go ahead and throw a... I want to go ahead with, I guess, these two and throw another shield just to be certain. Because as you can see, they start with power pips no problem. Plus, while, but while I'm getting that extra shield and while they're burning pips against it, I'm gaining pips. Which is really what I need to do here. And as well with this death setup, as well with this death setup, one of the extra advantages the death has with this is these spells, of course, deal as they damage. And that is one of the best things I think for the decathlon as well, for any one of the decathlons, life, fire, or otherwise. Healing while you hit is a good, good thing. And the way they have this set up. You can use death spells because you can only use treasure cards. You can use death treasure cards on any of your characters because you're going to get white pips anyway. You don't need a mastery amulet. You don't need, you know, you don't need a bunch of help. You, you really don't need any of that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the big boy. These, all, these life guys also seem like they cast triage like an awful lot. And I don't even know what's up with that. See, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm going to need that. I'm not going to need that for, for later. I'm going to pull another vampire up. Go ahead and hit now. I'll gain all my life back and that should, if not kill him, then very close. <laughs> yep, it killed him. There we go. Plus, I got my life back. Nice and juicy and full. Only one opponent left. I basically, I'm basically on easy street here. Basically. Go ahead and throw one more shield out. Get rid of one of these. Throw one more shield out. Anytime you see them with two or more pips, you're going to want to throw a shield out if you can. Because they generally won't hit you with one pip spells at this level. But they'll definitely hit you with three or four pip spells if they get the pips for it. And they always have the attack ready. Always. We're gonna make all that damage and most of that damage go away. I'll go ahead and blade. I might just go ahead and shield him. Let me see that. Did I get a vampire? I did. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and faint. The reason I'm going to do this is he's not going to kill me with this. And a big, big vampire right here will just put him down. Not only will it put him down, but it'll fill me right back up again. There we go. See, he didn't do what he should have done. Mm. So I've got a bleed and a faint, but it won't, be, it won't be enough for his life. And he's about to hit me again. He's got two blades on, yeah. Plus he's got that face. I'm just, I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna play it with a shield. 
Because he might hit with a 4 pip spell instead of a 3 pip spell. You have to do this, no, you die. Just in case. You, you gotta run a lot of just in cases here. If you won, not, see that's not bad at all. Because that'd be 400 or so if you didn't. Okay, snap that out. And that's gonna do like a thousand damage. It's gonna go. It's gonna be way over what he really gotta do. And there we go. See, eleven hundred twenty-three. Not bad. You can even kill a big, bigger boss like that. At least in the decathlon. Okay, I got myth rune, enhanced death rune. See what I mean? You get those enhanced runes, no problem. Death rune, I got all kinds of special event points. And we got our Grove Guardian. And we've got plenty of mana left. And plenty of spells left. That's another problem that seems like people have on this. They uh, run, out, uh, run out of mana and or spells because of the whole gear limiting thing. Okay, there's that. Shield it up. I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? I want to go ahead and shield up again. Just so I've got time to mess with her. I can take a couple of hits this way and it'll allow me to put my faint on, my blade on, and anything else, no matter what pit she starts with. They usually, these bosses won't hit with like two attacks in a row. I mean, the same the same one won't. Gotta throw that on there. Really, this stuff is really, really a lot easier than you think whenever you first walk up to it. You first walk up to it, you're used to, you know, the regular old world style of battle, depending on your gear to help you. And a lot of people struggle with it. I I'm surprised. But a lot of people do struggle with it. There. We've got the faint on. We'll go ahead and do a blade. And as you know, we're going to do 1,100 points of damage. So she's going to be out of here the next turn. And plenty of vampires left, plenty of everything left, no problem, still got a shield. She's pretty much in bad shape here. Even if I were to fizzle that, I still got a shield to fall back on and next turn. There we go, 11.23. I got life rune, myth rune, enhanced death rune, and augmentation runes for the for the uh, gauntlets if you were if you were to decide to craft those. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the Life Decathlon, quick, easy, and ready to go. This will work for stage one, stage two, stage three, just the same way. In fact, those will be even easier, the better deck you have. The real key here, the real key is to work on your Decathlon decks. So far as I've noticed, those seem to be the best decks for doing this. I, I mean, I guess that's why they, pur they purposely made them this way. If you can craft these decks for this and craft a rank 4 deck for each of them, you can trade it to any one of your wizards. So your Storm Wizard could come in here with the, with the, uh, the death deck from the, the Decathlon and make it work simply because of the system. It doesn't really rely on gear and it doesn't really rely on you having power pips. This is all low level stuff and that deck is pretty much crafted just for that, to be at low level for any school. You don't have to have a mastery amulet. All you need is this deck. I think it, it'll really clear things up for you, make it a little easier for you to run this over and over. Get those gauntlets, get that pet, whatever it is you want to do. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out. If it did, like, subscribe, share, yell my name to the heavens, name your firstborn son and or daughter. Scale is beautiful for either one after me, because I would love to have that. <laughs> I really would. The first one of you that does that, I'm going to trip out. I really am. And... Until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always live the game. Peace.